On my previous videos, I talked about different software for easily and quickly editing portraits. Both software use artificial intelligence to scan for the face and automatically apply skin retouching effects with just a few clicks of a button. While it does get the job done fast and easy, and is acceptable for social media content, there are times that you need to step up your editing process for a more professional, precise, and high-quality output, most especially for client work. So in this video, we are going back to basics and I will explain to you the process behind getting that smooth, textured, and yet realistic skin by manually editing a photo using a process called frequency separation. So sit back, relax, and watch and learn. Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, click on that bell icon to turn on notifications so you will get notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so what is frequency separation? It is a retouching technique used to soften a subject's skin without degrading skin texture and making it look too blurry and unrealistic. Basically, you split the image into two frequencies a high frequency and a low frequency. One is for skin tone and the other is for skin texture. So then you can edit them separately. Let's start by editing this image. I got this free RAW file from GlamourRetouchingStudio.com. You can sign up to download free sample RAW images for retouching practice purposes. I'll put the link down on the description. Let's open it up in Photoshop and set the exposure and white balance as required. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Select the Spot Healing Brush tool and start removing the obvious and distracting blemishes. After removing the blemishes, duplicate the same layer because we will be using the two of them, one for texture and one for smoothing. Okay, so now we can apply frequency separation. Select the layer on top and convert it to black and white by clicking Ctrl Shift U. Then let's rename the layer to Skin Texture. Let's temporarily hide this layer so we can see the layer below it. Let's rename the bottom layer to Skin Softening, then convert it into Smart Object. Go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filter. We do this so that we can go back and edit this layer anytime you want to, non-destructively. Now let's go back to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. First, we increase the threshold all the way up and make sure that only the skin is blurred and not the edges of the face, eyes, nose, and lips. Then we increase the radius to a point that the colors of the skin blend well and even out properly. Then we gradually decrease the threshold until we get the details of the edges back, like so. Once we're satisfied, click OK. We can always come back and change the values because we have converted this layer to a smart object. So basically, we're done with the skin softening part, so we're halfway through. Next is we need to bring back the skin texture. Let's select and unhide the skin texture layer above and also convert it into a smart object. Now let's change the blend mode from normal to overlay. This blend mode hides everything which is 50% gray, then makes the bright parts brighter and the dark parts darker. We now go to Filter, Other, High Pass. We start the radius value all the way from zero then slowly make our ray up until the skin texture starts to appear. This value appears to be fine so we can click OK. And we're done. So this is frequency separation. We have softened the skin by separately editing the skin tone and skin texture. But wait, if you look closely, it has also blurred out other parts of the image like the hair, eyebrows, eyes, and lips. We don't want that. So we need to bring back those details. Select the two layer and group them together by clicking Ctrl G. Double click on the right hand side of the group layer to show the layer styles window. Go to the underlying layer, click this black arrow on the left, then press Alt key then slowly drag to the right. And we do the same on the white arrow. Hold Alt then drag to the left. Once we are satisfied with bringing back the details, click OK. 
So the last and final step is to manually brush out the areas of the skin that we want to soften. Click the group layer, then press Alt key, and click on the mask icon below to create a negative mask. Select the brush tool, make sure the brush color is set to white, then start brushing. And take note of this tip. The white brush reveals, the black brush conceals. So if you brush on something by mistake, just change the brush color to black by pressing X and paint again on that area to correct it. Let me just speed this up. And once we're done brushing, we can play around with the opacity slider to change the amount of skin softening applied on the image. Okay, we're done. This is the final image. This is the before. This is after. Let's zoom in. Before. After. We managed to soften the skin and it still looks realistic. Now you have understood the concept of frequency separation. We can actually make a Photoshop action from this process so that you can just play it and start brushing right away, but that is for another video. In the meantime, I will put the link down in the description where you can download this Photoshop action so that you don't have to manually do this every time. There is also another skin softening technique called dodging and burning, which is more advanced and is a very tedious work, so if you want to learn about that, comment down below. That is all for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it helps out my channel. And also follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.